We're dealing with the same issues when things like today happen. And there's, a, there's only so many, come on guys, that we can do, right? It's got to be direct. we got to change. I was wrong. You're wrong. How do we fix it? And, and have a little urgency to us instead of looking around and hoping somebody changes it. That was Mox head coach Sean Poppy just one week ago following the Chattanooga women's 56 to 48 loss to Western Carolina. Well, a lot can change in one week with seven days to hit the reset button. The Mox were hoping to get back to their winning ways, especially with rival ETSU in town. The ladies got the win in last month in Johnson City and were hoping to make it two out of two against the Bucks. No better combo than a Saturday afternoon in Mox basketball, right? The defense showing off early ETSU doesn't score a field goal for nearly five minutes. That was probably going to change eventually. Navaya Brown moves inside the paint for two points, but Chattanooga still leads 11-3. The Mox got off to a slow start in the first quarter last week. That was certainly not the case today. Seeker and Olaf Stodder knocks down the three to put UTC back up by double digits. We've talked over and over about the impact of freshman Raven Thompson. But I mean, come on, how could we not? She's going to hit the triple. Nearly hits double digits in the first quarter alone. Long ball working for everyone on the mocks. This time it's Yaz Wazirudin. Chattanooga up 19-8 after one. How about Brooklyn Crouch? The freshman has been getting more and more playing time, and this is exactly why the future is bright with these young mock girlies. Speaking of the youngins, Addie Grace Porter was the star of the third quarter. 11 points in those 10 minutes. We should probably show you another ETSU bucket. After all, they had four ladies finish in double digits. That's cool and all, but the Mox had five. That's right, all five starters hit 10 or more points. First time that's happened for the Mox since 2020. Chattanooga rolls on to a 73-62 win. We executed uh, very, very well, screened, passed, and made the right plays, and then stepped into it and shot with some confidence. So uh, overall, very, very pleased, but now it's, it's time to learn how to handle success and, and try to get this thing moving forward. For us, a lot last week, we talked about playing hard no matter what. So last week, shots weren't falling, and that made us not play as hard, not as giving much effort, energy, stuff like that. So we know those types of things have to be constant for us, whether shots are going in or not. And it just so happened today that our shots were falling, so even better. A big week for the Mox coming up. They hit the road to play Mercer and Samford starting on Thursday.